the first generation here on this farm. Uh, whenever I was in the poultry business, uh, six, seven years, I guess, and was wanting more land, and we sold, wound up selling the poultry farm, and that's how I come about finding this land. We we got beef cattle, uh, running mainly Angus and Brangus cattle. Uh, we got the hog operation. It's a 2,500 unit sow multiplier unit, and uh, and, and the pecans. I ain't gonna say I knew what I'd do, and I just love doing what I do. So I guess the passion for raising cattle and being a farmer is uh, something I've always wanted to do, from kindergarten all the way to now. I mean, my parents and aunts and uncles kidding me all the time because first day of kindergarten, I got off the school bus at my grandparents' house, and I come walking up the driveway, and my parents is like, you know, how was the first day of school? And I said. School sucks. I slammed my backpack down and all I wanted to be was a farmer from, from day one. So we have two boys, Levi who's 13 and Eli who's 7, that both help us daily on the farm. Um, they both play a big role in the summertime when they're not at school, uh, in the hay field with the cows at the hog farm. They do a lot. Yeah, I hate, I hate, I hate summer practices, football practices, because <laughs> I lose all my help during that, during that, that time. <laughs> Levi, he can cut, rake, and bale hay. Uh, and Eli, he can cut hay a little bit, but uh, he's more of the rake man now. So I was actually, this last cutting, we was over there in the field, and I, he was bailing, and, or Levi was bailing, and Eli was raking, and I was sitting in the truck supervising at that time. And I just, you know, it's one of those moments you just get to look and watch your boys, you know, kind of enjoy what they're doing and see that, you know, you're proud of them. I sent a video to my dad and uh, showed him. I said, I won't be on the tractor much anymore. I said, they're about to take it over. I was probably five or six years old riding on the side of tractors, open canopies, yeah. hanging on and cutting hay with him. And after what I've always wanted for my boys, be able to cherish those moments. I want them to grow up to be just like him. I want them to grow up to have the drive that he's got and want to accomplish the things that, that he wants for them, you know. And, um, you know, I mean, I've, I've known him since kindergarten. So I know, I know how hard he's worked and I want them to have that. I want them to have that fire in them like, like it burns in him for this.